Hi, you guys. Um, so today I got to teach at a ladies event at my church. Um, we learned how to make these cute little um, yarn wrapped rainbows and I thought I would take this opportunity to um, show you guys how to make them on my channel. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah. This is Homeschool at Heart. I am a homeschool mom of three. We have been homeschooling for six years now. And um, I generally do um, how to do things about homeschooling videos or share what we're doing um, for specific subjects. But today I'm kind of deviating from that and showing how to make these adorable little um, rainbow crafts. Um, this size is perfect for um, an ornament or giving away as a gift. You could hang it in a wreath. Um, Put it on a command hook somewhere um lots and lots of things it is going to be all hot glued though so i wouldn't like put it in your car if you have hot weather because the glue will probably yep. melt and then you'd end up with just um pieces of rope that are wrapped up with yarn so i'm going to show you guys how to construct this adorable little rainbow okay so this is what we're going to be making cute little um small rainbow it's it's probably five inches by maybe four inches tall um i will find that out for you guys and put it in the description box um so for this project you're going to need three pieces of rope it usually comes on a big well, I mean, you don't have to buy a giant amount. I have a lot of them because I have a lot of rope because I make these and sell them. But, um, so here are the measurements. I usually eyeball it myself, but, uh, here are the measurements of these three pieces of rope so that you can, um, measure out your project. You can also eyeball it just by taking a piece of rope and going, okay, that's about what I want for the largest one, figuring out what you want for the middle one and then what you want for the bottom one. Usually you want the edges to line up when you scrunch it so that you'll have um, an even line at the bottom. Um, and then, sorry, my daughter kicked my tripod. Um, you want painter's tape, mine is blue, but it comes in various colors. Um, and then you're gonna want to tape off your uh, your rope before you cut it. So I like to leave the one inch tape and then I'll put another piece of tape um, right next to where I'm gonna cut it. So like these were all connected to each other so you can kind of see there was uh, a little gap right there where I cut the rope. So these pieces of tape were pretty much right next to each other and then when I had the other piece on here, that was the same thing. So it was like one piece of rope and then I cut it and then cut it again. So you'll need six pieces of tape. Make sure you leave it on because otherwise this fuzzy part will unravel and it will look like this before you're ready for it to. Um, you're also going to need, a, this is a nine inch piece of twine. You could also use a piece of leftover uh yarn from your project. Um, you're going to need scissors, hot glue gun, and hot glue. Um, I do recommend the Gorilla Glue hot glue. It seems to stay for me pretty well and then it also stays hot a little bit longer so it doesn't dry, like doesn't cool off like super duper fast um, so that you have time to like kind of manipulate your project a little bit. And then, um, I, you need three different colors of yarn. So for this project, I'm going to be using these three colors, a little bit different from a typical rainbow, but I think it's going to end up being really pretty. Okay. So for this part of the project, you're going to need about six yards of yarn. So choose your first cutler that's going to go on the largest size. I mean, you could do it in any order, but I do the largest size first. 
Um, you're going to pull, hopefully, from the inside. You'll find the string on the inside. This has a little knot. Um, because it'll be easier for you to pull rather than go all the way, go around for that much yarn. Um, so you're gonna just tie this in a knot. So you're just gonna do around and through, just like starting a shoelace. Tie it as tight as you can, and then tie it around again. Okay, so you've got this little T, right? So um, you're gonna want this part to be tucked in when you're wrapping. So you're gonna hold this with your thumb um, down the long part of the rope. So you've got this to start your wrapping. I usually pull this down to the top of the tape. So this is also going to act as a guide here. So this part that's blue right now is gonna end up being your clouds. So we're gonna um, try to keep that lined up so that it will make a nice straight line when you have all three of them next to each other. So then all you're gonna do, I usually wrap one towards the tape and then I'll go around this way. Oh, Ellie, you keep knocking into my stuff here, hun. Um, she really wants to be involved, guys. Um, and then you're just gonna keep wrapping all the way around your project. Somewhere in the middle, I usually turn it over just because it's kind of awkward as it gets shorter to hold onto. So you'll see me do that, but. Okay, just keep wrapping, just keep wrapping. Then you can scrunch it down if you feel like it's getting kind of loose, but you're just gonna wanna keep everything really tight and close. I mean, not tight necessarily, like where you're like, oh, it's so tight, but um, just next to each other so you don't see the rope. You just wanna see yarn. While my students were wrapping up their uh, ropes during the class, we talked about how the rainbow is a symbol of God's promise to us. And so I decided to read a few more promises of God. I had about 30, so I won't do that here, but I will read a few of my favorites. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Psalm 34, 17. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 19. Okay, so now we are at the end. And what I like to do until I get the glue gun out and warmed up is I just tuck it into the end of this piece of um, tape to hold it so it doesn't unravel all of the work that I just did. And just snip it off and you've got one of your rainbow pieces. Okay, so now I have all three of my little rainbow pieces all wrapped. Um, I'm going to start on the hot gluing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get rid of my little tails um, by just scrunching this down. You could take it off a little bit if you want, but I don't want this part to unravel. So I'm just trying to kind of uh, make sure that that doesn't happen. So we're gonna show a little bit of the rope here and we're gonna just do a tiny little dot of glue. My glue gun's already trying to drip, so we'll just do that. And then just lay it across and you're gonna let it cool just a little. You don't have to sit with it for a long time, but long enough until you know it's not gonna just like fall right back off. And then as close as you can to that glue, you're going to just snip that off. 
so you don't have a tail anymore on your rainbow. So you're going to do that on all three. So we've got all of those guys done. Okay, so the other thing I want to say is that these knots that you made can either go um, towards the back or you can put them um, in the centers, like in between the layers, so like you wouldn't see that. So um, that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got our biggest one, our middle one, and our baby. That's going to go in the back. Okay, so you're going to make sure that at least one side is all the way lined up um, so that your tape is even otherwise you'll end up with a little bit of a mess at the end to clean up and it's just easier to line it up this way and then you're going to want to determine the shape of your rainbow so um this one is a little wide you could make them skinnier if you want to bend it um it just depends on how you want to do that um you could do it you know, flatter on the top and wider on the base, but I think this is usually my favorite shape for them. So I'll probably do something very similar to that. They all come out a little bit different, which, you know, isn't God like that. Very creative. Everything he makes is just a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of squish this around until I'm happy with it. And then I'll put some glue right in the center and then glue one side, glue one side, glue one side, glue one side. And then, um, we'll have, um, our completed rainbow and then we'll add our little hair. Oh, one more thing. So when you're doing your glue, so see how you don't put it like right in the center, put it towards the back. That way, when you squish everything together, it doesn't squish the glue to the front of your project. It will squish the glue to the back part of your project that you won't be looking at full time. And you're going to do a bunch of glue points. So if you feel like it's not super stable right at the beginning, it's really okay. Okay. So I've got three glued pieces. Now I'm going to start the center. You might want to turn it over so that you can glue just on this back more back side of it and not have your glue sticking out. So I'm going to put a couple of spots where I want the glue to go right to the edge there. And then do my little squishing. So you can see how the glue's sticking out a little bit there. But that's the back, so it doesn't matter.
if you really don't want the glue to show, um, you could put a piece of felt or a piece of fabric over it. So I usually do on my larger rainbows. Um, also, it helps give it a little stability if you need it. This little guy doesn't really need any more stability, though. It's not going to... I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Okay, so second side is where it gets a little... See how this guy right here is a little extra long? A little extra, extra. Um, but he should be able to... You should be able to kind of push him up in there a little harder or a little higher if you give it a little bit of... A little bit of something and then you can pull on the yellow one or your middle one and you might be able to get it to work if not then you're gonna just trim off a little bit at the bottom we'll trim a little bit off up here or push it up a little higher and add another little bit of glue which is probably what I'm gonna do since this is the knot side so um, I'll just glue it together like that and then I'll just trim off a tiny bit at the bottom here so that, again, all my little clouds will line up because otherwise this will be like a really weird like puff of cloud over here. Maybe you don't care, but I usually care. If you know me in real life, you know that I will care about that. <laughs> I care about the rainbow being symmetrical. Okay. Adding some glue, adding it all the way down to the bottom of this yellow. And then doing my little squish and let it dry. So see, you can see the front, it doesn't have any glue showing. Careful not to burn yourself. They do sell those little like finger guards at uh, the Dollar Tree if you guys shop at the Dollar Tree. Um, I sure do for lots and lots of craft supplies. It is one of my favorite places to buy little projecty things. Okay. So see how cute it's turning out so good. Okay, so I'm going to be careful not to stick my fingers in these in this glue because it's still a little bit uh, hot. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut through this. My cording has like a foam piece in the middle for some reason. So it makes that cut a little, a little hard, but there we go. All right. So while I have my hot glue gun out, I'm going to take my piece of twine, just like this, kind of in that rainbow shape, but so that the loose ends are together. And we're just gonna tie a quick knot in the two pieces, just like that. Tighten it up. Okay, and then you're gonna find the center I actually, I like to use thinner than this because it makes the knot not quite like that, but this is what I have right now. So I'm gonna put a, a, a pretty good sized blob of glue right there. And then I'm going to put the knot right into it. And this is high enough that I'm not worried that my fingers are gonna get glue on them. But if your knot is smaller, then I suggest maybe using like the tip of your scissors to do that or a uh, sharpie or um, if you have those little finger protector thingies. Um, so we're got, we've got that going on. Now we can take off the tape. And fluff out the clouds. Oh, I got a little glue there. See what I mean? It like already starts Coming apart.
So you can totally leave this just like this. It's very cute as is. Or you can take like a hair comb and comb this part out. So that you can get the braids or the swirls or whatever your type of rope has um, out and kind of fluff it a little bit. So there you go. How beautiful is this little rainbow? I hope that you guys are having fun with your project. Let me know in the comments what colors you decided to use and um, if you like the way, you, way it turned out, how you're going to use it, if you're going to give it as a gift. I would love to know all of those things. I'm going to be extra and comb out the back side. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying our little project together. Um, let me know if there's any other type of DIY, DIY projects that you would like to see in the future as well. Okay, so that is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, we would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button and maybe subscribe uh, for more videos like this one. I'm hoping to do a few more like this in the future. As always, have a great day and I will see you in my next video.